Hi, my name is Arun Karpur, and I'm the Director for Data Science and Evaluation Research at Autism Speaks. Unemployment has been uh, very high in our autistic community, especially among those youth and young adults who transition from school to the world of work. It has been estimated uh, that uh, as high as 90% of young people uh, are unemployed, uh, and some estimates said, say that somewhere between 50 to 75% of youth and young adults who are transitioning from school to work are, remain to be unemployed. Um, a recent data and our own analysis have indicated uh, that young people uh, with autism spectrum disorders uh, don't uh, get opportunities to be part of work-related experiences while they are in high school resulting uh, in the fact that a large proportion of them are neither um, having um, employment as they leave high school, nor are they connected to training and support and services that might lead to employment in future. One of the major barriers that uh, I see as a researcher is that we've approached the field of employment through a very deficit-based model. Uh, while these deficit-based models have informed us about the problems, they have not always pointed us towards solutions. Uh, I think uh, a, a large uh, proportion of youth and young adults um, who are in high school do not get opportunity to experience uh, work-based learning uh, uh, programs. Uh, as a result of that, uh, what happens is many of these young people as they are graduating leave school with little or no training that would lead to employment and job opportunities. We also uh, work closely with Mathematica policy research in conducting an analysis of a federally funded uh, program called The Promise. Um, and in this uh, program that enrolled close to about 12,000 young people across the country, uh, 2,000 of these young people had a diagnosis of autism spectrum disorders. The thing that became very much evident is that the case management uh, that helps in individualizing uh, services to these young people played a powerful role in terms of improving access to needed services, but at the same time helped in uh, finding opportunities for work and learning from work. Um, and at the uh, 18 months of the project implementation, we were able to see that young people who were in the intervention group were nearly uh, two times more likely to find uh, work, and they had almost 65% higher earnings that were reported, indicating that case management, benefits counseling, and other services that lead them to uh, have experiences of workplaces really leads them to have a paid job as they transition to adulthood. A large majority of uh, adults uh, on autism spectrum disorders have a desire to work. And that desire stems from their ability to find their place in our communities. Um, and it's a matter of not only being able to uh, get paid for work, but it's also a matter of uh, self and social uh, worth. And the research has also shown that personally for people working um, enhances their self-worth and has been shown to improve uh, their overall well-being uh, as well as uh, improve their health conditions. So that means to say work means a lot more than just a paycheck. Uh, it provides uh, opportunities for uh, building meaningful social relationships uh, as well as to lead a healthier lifestyle. Uh, that increases our tax base, that also exposes us to the talents that these young people uh, possess and can bring to the workplace. Uh, I think that's one of the most important contribution uh, that people uh, with autism spectrum disorders bring to the workplaces because they are able to educate us in the way they see the world and the way the world works for them. Uh, so there is an inherent social advantage in being able to hire and retain and employ uh, people with autism spectrum disorders. Many case studies have now shown that people with autism spectrum disorders make uh, their best employees 
These are loyal uh, employees that an employer desires. They are um, also highly skilled uh, and are able to deliver on the deadlines uh, that are needed for the business purposes. Um, they also have had a substantial impact on the workplace culture overall. And many studies have shown that employing those with autism spectrum disorders have improved the overall mood in the workplaces. And all of these characteristics uh, and, and, um, and the contribution that are made by autistic individuals go above and beyond just the idea of um, a business being able to um, find ways to grow, but this also contributes to overall sustainability of the business in the long term.